Hello, friends, and welcome to another video lesson from DBOS Talks. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click on subscribe and click the bell so that you can be notified of any new uploads. By the end of this video, you'll be able to you'll learn how to make your own music in Windows 10. But first of all, uh, we'll have to download a free application from the Microsoft Store. So the first thing you will do this app I already have on my desktop, so I'll just walk you through the steps that you'll need to do to get this app, which is free, okay? Uh, first, you go to your Google, and you can just type this, Windows 10, make music. And when you do that, you will find this um, URL, which is under Microsoft Store. You click, click on the link there, and then, you will find this um, short list. There could be more, but these are the, the ones listed. And then you click on the one called Music Maker Jam, the first one, click on that. Once you do, it leads you to this, and then you just click on the Get button. It's over here. You can clearly see it's free. So no doubt about it, don't worry about it. You will not be asked for any kind of um, credit card number, debit card number, none of that. So it's all free, uh, no obligations. Click on the get button. And then when you do that, after doing that, you'll get to this dialog box. And then all you have to do is just click on open Microsoft Store, the button over here, you click on that. Okay. When you do that, you will again see this familiar looking dialog. And then you will click on the get button which is over here again it tells you it's free so after doing that the application will be downloaded and installed okay if it doesn't do that actually the button here will have a label called install but even if you just wait a few seconds it will automatically download the app to your desktop or laptop or windows device and after being downloaded, it will automatically install itself and wait for it to, for it to be, uh, for the installation to complete. And when it completes, you will see this here, this message, this product is installed. And then once you see this on your right hand side, you will see that the blue button, the label on it uh, has been changed to launch. So now you can click on launch okay so um i put all this on a slide show so okay so that's it for the slide show uh now let's just assume you have already downloaded um the application has been installed on your pc laptop or windows device so the next thing you're, you're gonna do is to start the application called music maker jam so when you go to your windows search um field you can type for actually it's already here because i have only recently opened it but anyway if you were just typing music maker jam so it brings you this thing because it's already been installed so you can click on that and it will open up wait for it to to launch completely and then once you get here um you only see a fraction of my desktop view because i am recording this to be optimized for mobile devices like phone okay so this is the music maker jam the app that you have downloaded and installed and you will notice that um you are at this point where you are told to select a music style so i would suggest that you click on the first one called dubstep because that's the free one the others if you click on those let's say this one always says free if i click on that it leads me to this uh 135 beats per minute i have choice select but you can see that they have prices under for each one of them for 35 usd 25 i don't i believe it's usd okay um so you just unless you really want to think it's not so much of a 
pinch on your pocket, then yeah, you can go for it. But otherwise, you can go back and click on the dubstep for starters, okay? Because we want to, we want just to enjoy making your own music, especially during this time of COVID, and people are, uh, some of them are stuck at home, working from home, and thinking about the ways to make the most of your time, okay? So you click on dubstep now. <laughs> Okay. Once you get to that, this thing gets going, and you will see that um, there is already a preset that's running. I'll lower the volume a, bit, a little bit. So it shows different um, instruments available. And with this preset already playing in the background, it shows that the playing, the, the instruments getting played are the ones with okay i'll turn on the volume so i can speak okay the ones with orange color means in co in orange means those instruments are playing those are the ones you're hearing so here you're hearing the sound of a drum drum set drum kit and some effects okay so at the top of the application you have some kind of menu or options that uh, consists of presets. So from here, let's say the first one that actually the second one, which is more visible is called beats and wobble beat. So if I click on that now, you see it brings a different kind of sound to it, to the beat and instantly it shows you what instruments are incorporated in that beat. So that means this beat that you chose consists of bass guitar, drums, effects, pad, sequence. Okay, so, and then let's try another one. This is called break and vox. So it, it has a different beat to it, different groove to it. And in fact, it has some vocals to it. But again, you will see in orange colors, what instruments are incorporated in that beat and and so on you can try another one main group a so it has bass it has drums it has sequence it has synthesis uh synthesizer okay so you can you can pick and choose which one you want um here uh, there are a couple of things options here this is the master we're at the master now if you click on this one, this is 140 beats per minute. Okay, it's up to you if you want to slide this. These are the loops. These are the loops. Effects. Uh, Harmony editor. So you can go and explore during your own free time these things. Okay, if you want to go back to the old view that we were looking at, then you click on master over here. Like that. Um, yeah. It's supposed to bring me back to that one. Okay. Let's just say, okay, let's choose one another one. Let's just say you wanted you wanted this kind of beat brass part A and if you want to add okay let me down okay so if you want this part and you want to record it then what you can do is to click on this record button over here okay so when you click on the record button, the red one on the left side, starts recording the music. And it will be saved later on as an MP3 file. So you can see, although it's a bit small, but you can see the, the second sticking. Actually, you can explore more at your in your own sweet time. 
exploring these things, I'm not an expert on this one too, but uh, it's not so um, difficult to get to know. It takes uh, only a few days to get yourself comfortable with the, with the GUI, with the interface of this one. Okay, so we are recording it now. Let's say you are done, you're okay with the beat. Actually, you could do some changes here and they're adding, in, adding instruments to the beat, customizing it. Okay, let's just say you are okay with the recording. You can stop recording now and you will click on the same button over here, the red one. When you do that, you're prompted to give a file name, an MP3 file name. Maybe I'll call it um, DVOS. mp3 file okay so it will save an audio file in mp3 format you click on this check or tick over here and then it actually um let me close that i'll show you where it's saved it saves itself to um when you go to your explorer go to this pc and the music goes to music maker jam recordings so it's this this is the one i call dbos talks when you click on that you'll open your default audio player and you can see it's playing now like i said you can um do much much more of modification customization to the kind of sound that you're seeing um, i will not go to the depth of that because um, you can actually explore it during your own free time it is not, it's very intuitive it's not so it doesn't have a very steep learning curve to get uh, to get to learn this application so that's it the first you first thing we did was to download and install the application called music maker jam from the Microsoft Store, which is a free application, free app. And once you get it installed, you can launch, open it, and then it's very easy to use. Um, you will uh, search for the presets, and then you can add, in fact, instruments to it. And then once you like the sound of it, once you like what you, what you hear, then you can record. And then after, you stop your recording, it will save as an MP3 file and you have your own music already. Okay, there you go. That's how to make your own music. I hope you learned something new and happy learning, happy listening. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please don't forget to subscribe. DBOS Talks.